even though it's on a shoulder, but just be careful. Okay. Now you can take this off. So again, we need to draw the pencil. Okay, grab your MM and then the MM tells you how to dismantle this. Okay. To hold here. Anything out? Yes. Oh wait, play anymore? Uh, probably 17. Okay. Maybe 18. I think 17. Sure. Do we run this in pitch sterilization? Very hot. 280. It's hot up here. Uh, you yeah. yeah, put grease on here, the grease turns to glue. And then here, it's stuck. It's stuck. Okay? So not even a little bit, none, zero, negative, nothing. No it's grease. Big, clean. Clean. No grease. You cannot see down inside the spindle, mm -hmm. but as it comes out, some parts of the, of the shuttle, this will be firstly uncovered here, mm -hmm. but this here will still be closed mm -hmm. here. So as this moves out, we get more flow here mm -hmm. and more flow here, and as it moves out further, then we start to get some flow here start to get some flow here. This is for linear. Linear, linear flow. But you are right. For no pressure shocks. So it's the flow will be linear. Mm. Okay, not like yeah, this. Not like you start yeah. then. Yeah. So it's shaped like this. We call it for linear flow. through all the components later, okay? But basically, the, the sensor on the filling pipe um, gets its pickup on the filling, on the level tube with the magnets in it, here. So the, the signal comes from, the, from the, the level regulator. It goes into the TMCC card, and then the TMCC card then hooks to the, to the kinetic, then tells the servo motor where to go to. Okay. 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 So <clears throat> while the machine is running, it never runs from here. We, we never touch this position. Yeah. It's never going down to 
here in this position. This runs from this position right back here. So running, 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 running. running. So it works at about 128 degrees angle. Okay, running, running, running. So as this is moving around, then this will then go on to there, and this will move the shuttle valve in and out. Okay, so the shuttle valve sits here, this point here. I'm very careful with this, but this is almost a tolerance thing. Okay, so be careful. So then this will move in and out like this. So the product's coming this way, here, and this is going down the third pipe. So as this moves, moves out, 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 move out, then we will get to a position where it starts to allow product into the third pipe. So then it'll, it'll come to a position where it will regulate. But this will not regulate like this. This will find a position and stay. Okay? If it, 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 it makes a shock movement, it's only because it's starving a product. Or we, or we get a high level quick and it will start to close. But normally when it's running, it's, it's just sitting in a, yep. a set position. Okay? So the shuttle valve is shaped like this. What, what's the reason for this? Why is it shaped like this? Here it's very narrow, then here it's very wide, here it's very narrow, here it's very wide. Yes? Reason for this? Educated guess? Uh, slow down the foaming? No. It's linear. Or linear flow. Linear flow. So as it comes out, first, as this moves up, this part here will be exposed first. So we get we get we get flow this way, and we get flow this way. And as this come out, come out, come out, then we're starting to get a bit more flow. And then we get to this point here, where this point here will match this point here. So now it's, the, the flow is linear. So we don't have this um, pressure shock. So the flow will be linear, 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 linear flow. Okay why the shuttle is shaped like this, to give linear flow, okay? So that's why it looks like this. In here, we have the sensor, this one, be careful of this. Yeah, it's small. Yeah, um, it, now it comes on a shoulder, so you can't change the distance. Mm -hmm. Before, it used to screw all the way through, and you could, distance could change. Ah. So now, this, here now picks up so this picks up right here okay to tell us where where the the valve is in CRP and in heat sterilization so it needs to be fully open so this picks up the this is actually to say that this is in full CRP position or in heat sterilization position On the body here, inside, we have ceramic bush here, mm -hmm. and this is Teflon coated. So now, this here, whenever you're assembling or taking apart, maybe replace the diaphragm. Do not grease this. Nothing. No, not even, not even a smidge dick of grease. Nothing. Completely dry. But if you grease it, then what happens to grease when we cook it? goes hard. So then this will then go hard and then we have then the, the movement is then compromised. Okay? So no grease up here. Please wipe clean, wipe clean and put together. No grease. So many times I've been to customers on the old pneumatic system. And so we've got no product flow, no product flow. And um, you pull the you pull it apart and it's grease all over. And, and it says it doesn't say in this book, but on the old old valves it says, big black letters, caution, warning, no lubrication. So, like, we couldn't 
find it in here. It talks about lubrication. But don't lubricate it at all. Okay? So that's it. That's the regulating valve. Cool. Turbo driven, pushing your saddle valve into a, 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 um, a hole to give us control on any flow. Then we'll, once we've got all back together, then we'll talk about the components of how all this works together. Okay? on this. This is auto reference. So you won't find anything in the book about reference. You've already seen the float inside the bag, the float on the pulling pipe. So then the float goes to the, the level detector. You've all seen the level detector. Mm -hmm. okay. Then to the PMTC card, which we found before when we were upstairs. Yes. Mm -hmm. The PMTC card. Okay. Then the kinetic. The kinetic, look upstairs to control the position of the servo drive. The, the regulating valve controls the flow of product from the A valve through the flow meter. Okay. And then we have here a level detector here. To see, I'm oh sorry, a leakage detector here. If the diaphragm breaks, then we get a signal to here. Then this goes to remote I.O., tells the PRC to shut the machine down to zero. Mm -hmm. right? If we get a leak here. Okay? So, when we start, the A valve will open. When we get product coming through the flow meter, the flow meter will read the flow. The initial flow has to be 120%. Okay? 120% initial flow because we need high flow in order to tap it up to the level. Mm -hmm. okay? To reach virtual level of 20% in here, we need to reach this, so 120% flow. So the regulating valve will go to a maximum open position because we need high flow. High flow, high flow, high flow, high flow, down. As we fill up, as we fill up, the product will come up in the tube. We will then reach virtual level. When we reach virtual level, here, somewhere, then the system is enabled to look for design position. If we're below virtual level, we will not go to design position. Okay? So once virtual level is found, we then go to design position, to look for design position. Okay? The TMCC card. If you look up on the TMCC card, you can see piggyback. Yeah. Okay, on top. So that's this one coming back here. 
Then we also have here, back to the TMCC, to tell us the flow. Here, signal back. Now, coming from here, we have this thing called a TTL converter. Eddie, do you know what a TTL converter is? No. Have you heard of it? No. Okay, it's a transistor to transistor logic. It's called? Transistor, transistor. transistor to transistor logic. Basically, what is coming from here is 24 volts coming from here. The kinetic input to here cannot read this here. They're coming into here. It cannot, it will not take this signal. So the TLT converter, then what it does, it drops the bar.